Hi, I'm Jo from JH Heather, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this passport cover. Now, it's going to be available as a PDF pattern pack download, as well as a durable acrylic template set, and there'll be links in the description for where you can get those. So, let's get started. Now, once you've got your patterns, what you can do is then transfer them onto your chosen leather, and there is a link in the description to what leather I have used here. Now, once you've done that, you can start cutting them out. So for me, I like to cut my straight edges first and I will use a rotary knife and a ruler for this. Once I've done that, I can then use my head knife and cut out the shaped ends. Once we have our two pieces cut out, what we can do is some edging. So on our main body piece here, what we want to do is make sure we have the right end. So the end which our stitching is going to go on, and we can then on the flesh side, use our template to mark those central areas where our stitching will stop. Because there's going to be a gap here in the passport once it is made up, and we're going to edge in between those points. Then on the two shaped ends on the flesh side, what we can do is edge those as well. And then we can flip the whole thing over and we can edge all the way around on the nice grain side. On our little pocket insert, what we're going to do is mark the top edge and where those two little side dinks are in our pattern, because that is where the shaped end of the main body of the passport cover is going to be. Once we have marked those on, what we can do is then edge up and around those points and along the top. And then we can flip that over and on the flesh side, we can edge what will be the open edge only. Now what I like to do here is add some stain or some edge finish. Now this is actually a dyed through leather so what I'm going to do is simply add some burnishing gum to bring out the natural colours that are in the leather. So I'm going to put that on and then rub that in to get a nice shiny edge. Once you've done that you can then go over this with a creasing iron and I've chose to use a 1.5 millimeter one here. You can go all the way around your piece and you should end up with two pieces looking like like this. So what we can do is start to do some assembly. So on the end of our passport cover that's going to have the insert fitted, we can mark on the flesh side where that insert is going to be. And I'm using a silver pen here because it shows up a bit better on this leather. And then what we can do is we're actually going to glue on those sides as well as on our insert. Once they have gone tacky, we can then fit the two pieces together, making sure the edges are nice and flush and the pocket shaped part is in line with our marks. We can then use our template and mark on where our stitching is going to go and draw a line with a ruler in between. And again, I'm using my silver pen here because it's easier to see on this textured leather. Once I've got that line marked on, what I'm going to do is grab my chosen stitch mark and do some stitch marking. So what I want is one tooth over the top edge to secure that part of the leather down. And I'm going to punch this down the length of that line. Now, if you want, you can stitch mark this all the way through, but it's not necessary if you don't want to. We can then use the double hand stitch method and stitch along this line to fix the two pieces together. So what I'm going to do is start with two back stitches, making sure that one goes over that edge of the leather to secure it down. Now, if you are new to hand stitching, then I have a whole video dedicated to learning how to hand stitch, which I will link at the end of this video as well as in the description. Now, when you are doing your back stitching, you want to make sure that they sit side by side rather than one on top of the other, as this is going to make them last longer as they're not going to be prone to wear.
once you get to the end of your stitching line what we're going to do is one and a half back stitches now this is going to secure our threads and it's also going to make it so that both of our ends of our stitch line are going to be matching once we've done that we are now ready to assemble the rest of our passport cover so we can glue along those edges where we did our marking earlier missing out that section in the middle where we did our edging Once the glue has gone tacky, we can fold the ends over to their mark and stick them down. And you can also use a little hammer here if you feel the need to, to help get the ends nice and stuck down. We want to make sure the edges are nice and flush. So you should have your passport cover looking a little bit like this and we can now do some marking for our stitching with our dividers set to three millimeters wide we can mark on the actual stitch line following the marks that we made earlier from the pattern now what we want is to have one stitch mark over the end of our turnover to secure the end of that down So once you've done your stitch lines, what we can do is follow that with our chosen stitch mark, making sure we get one tooth over the edge because that is important because it's going to make the cover last longer because that bit of leather is not going to get pulled back when you're inserting the passport into the cover. Once we've done all our marking, we can now do our stitching. So again, we are going to start with two back stitches. And then we can stitch the rest of this cover using the saddle stitch method as normal. For those of you who are new to leathercraft and want to get good at using an awl then this is the perfect project to do that on because the leather is not overly thick and if you have stitch marked all the way through you can use that as a guide for your awl helping you create the muscle memory needed for when you can't stitch mark all the way through. Now, when we get to the end of our stitch line, what we're going to do is one and a half back stitches. So from stitching this edge, you can see my very last stitch that's closest towards me has gone through one thickness of leather, making it so that I have one stitch over the end, securing the internal flap of the passport cover down. And then I'm going to do my one and a half back stitches to secure my threads and also make it so the two ends of my length of stitching will match. So you should have your cover looking a little bit like this and we can start doing some finishing touches. So first we're going to trim off any excess that there might be along the edges. And then once we've done that we can use some sandpaper to get everything nice and flush. We can then go over it with our chosen edge finish. So for me I'm just applying the burnishing gum and I'm going to polish that in. But you can also use stain and then add the burnishing gum after. Once I've done that, what I like to do is go over everything one more time with my hot creasing iron just to get that line to be nice and prominent. And then the final thing we need to do is using a bone folder, we're going to push that inside each of the pockets to remove any excess glue that they may be holding down the pockets at the edges. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did, you may also enjoy